breaking news. One of the craziest day in this franchise's history by far. The Knicks have traded Kristaps Porzingis. They have traded Tim Hardaway Jr., Courtney Lee, and Trey Burke to the Dallas Mavericks. What's poppin', my guys? How you feeling, bro? Yo, first off, KP, bye. And your whack ass brother Giannis. I ain't never like his brother for some reason. Dennis Smith Jr., two picks are gonna be in the 20s. That's bullshit, man. That's terrible. Tommy Beer, yeah. Forbes Magazine contributor, Ian Begley joining us today. Ian, how you doing tonight? We got yeah. Chris Childs in the building. Chris, how you doing, man? But I think I helped him. Because after that, he started lifting weights and doing Sprite commercials. <laughs> <laughs> he was motivated. He was motivated uh, after that one, man. Alan Han, Han Solo, the Knicks fix is in the building. Welcome to the show, man. I see those Emmys shining in the background, man. Yeah. How do we get one of those things, man? <laughs> is there like a what, what are we? Yeah, is there a YouTube Emmys that that we need to know about? How do we sign up for that program? Look at that, look at her shine, isn't that nice? <laughs> but, but hey, you guys keep having uh, shows with this kind of energy, you'll get there. You'll get there. Keep going, keep going. Yeah. Hey! Uh, hey, I told you I was gonna do it for you, man. Come on, man. This is what we do. Clutch, Perry, Ninja Pete. Ten days. Ten days. Ten days. Oh, this is it. This is it, right here. And the fifth pick will be made by the Cleveland Cavaliers. So. <laughs> Good. No, he's good. He gave us a thumbs up. We're in good shape. We want Sion Chance going on today. The third pick goes to the New York pick. Three. It's three. It's three. It's three. The second pick will be made by the Memphis. Barclay Center, enemy territory. Yeah, we see Pete from Knicks Fan TV on Man J. Ellis from the Nick of Time Show. We are out here live at the 2019 NBA Draft. The New York Knicks select R.J. Barrett from Toronto and Duke University. That's no Porzingis reaction. <laughs> Man. How you feeling, bro? How you feeling today, Rob? Right? What I'm happy about is I we got exactly who I want, and I'm I'm being honest, man. You know, if you ain't, if you ain't getting Zion, I'm telling you, man, we got we got the best play in the draft. You have to, Mark. You have to give yourself an opportunity. To, to Folks, we're experiencing an earthquake right now. Whoa! Yes, can we are. Can you feel the I earth can. below you? Yes, I can. Here at Thomas and Mack, yes, I can. the building is swaying. Yo, the game is over. They canceled the game because of the earthquake. I didn't feel anything, but uh, they said they felt aftershocks in here. 7.1 on the Richter scale. So the game is over, man. We've got to get out of here. I ordered an RJ jersey. It didn't come in. Oh, oh, man. Man. I swear, who shared it? Right under Adam's sofa. Yeah, I'm sitting, I was sitting up there. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you, so I was like... Where, where, where are you sitting at? Hey, make, make sure you okay. out Adam Silver's above you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Give me some thoughts yeah. on tonight's game, man. You know, Iggy showed out tonight. You know, yeah, that's something Iggy for showed the future. Out. Iggy showed you know, out. Yeah. RJ had a little bit of a rough shooting game, yeah. but he did, oh, you know, you know, <laughs> he did have ten boards. I didn't, you know? I didn't, I didn't see the field goal percentage, but he had eight points. Yeah, he was still, he was still on the board. The fact that he's going to the Nets. Let me tell you guys something, man. This is 10 times worse than the decision. But uh, RJ Barrett is a great step. I love that kid. I just hope sure that the bad doings of the owner doesn't affect um, a Barrett's success. There's no really big name that that, that really just go woke, you go woke to, but I like the fact that they're they're building a real team and they're a young team. And uh, I think that they're in the, in the years to come, I think they'll be all right. Yo, Knicks fans TV, y'all know exactly what it is. Nate Rob, three times saying Doug kept me in the field. Shout out Knicks fans TV. Name is Yasser here. Go Knicks. These kids today 
they don't know about our history. They don't know about the 90s Knicks, the Ewing Knicks, and most, important, most importantly, they don't have that emotional connection that we had to that team. And you know what, it's a family thing too. It's like a legacy thing, because- Legacy thing. RJ, you know, his parents grew up in Brooklyn. He grew up in that Knicks legacy, yo. This is John Starks, and this is this is Patrick Hewen. These guys. The Knicks do have a direction. They're moving in a certain direction. They're drafting. They got about five guys who are on the same time frame. Nobody in the media mentioned that that Mitchell Robinson was the second in the league in shot and block shots. That was a potential. He got votes for Defensive Player of the Year. He got a couple of votes. There. The thing about that, right? A lot of pros in your statement. But the cons are so huge, it negates almost all of it because we talk about young youth and rebuilding. And granted, you can get some stopgap veterans to help them along, but the kind of guys they sign make it impossible for them to us to believe that you're going to develop the youth when you're getting these guys who are in their prime that require a lot of PT and a lot of showcasing. So it's like there's two different agendas, but you're only preaching about them. Bucket. Who did the Knicks go to right now? <laughs> should be, it should be RJ, but I'm thinking it's got to be Morris right now. I'm going Morris. Go to Mook. Let's go to Mook. Go to Mook. Let's go to Mook. Play. Not shoot. Not shoot. Let's go. Yeah! KP sucks. <laughs> KP sucks. Go what up, Greg? Go back, back to Dallas. Dallas. You don't want to. <laughs> Miss that solid game, 16 points, 8 yeah. rebounds. We came in, we did it from the beginning of yeah. the game to the end of the game. That's, That's right. what I like to see. End to end, end, end to end. end. Are you watching? My man's watching the live stream. Yes, sir, stream on stream. Uh, oh, we got Antoine Walker. Yo, Antoine Walker, what's good, bro? How you doing, man? Yo, what you think about the next performance tonight, bro? Hey, best one out of the year. This is it right here. I love that jersey, bro. Oh, I love it. I love it. Knicks <laughs> Fan TV, baby. Yeah. What up, bro? All right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Friday afternoon at 4.09 p.m. It has been confirmed David Fisdale has been relieved of his duties as the head coach of the New York Knicks. All the time. Let's get to this Fisdale cat. Fisdale tricked everybody. He's bum juice. All right? I'm glad he's gone. Now, in regard to his replacement, I don't got a name for you, but we got to get somebody in here that's tough. All that Mark Jackson stuff, that's going to be dead because that was yesteryear. This is a tricky situation we have here because we have a clumsy roster. Right. But before you go to pick this next head coach or try to even choose one, you got to finish draining the swamp because Mills is yeah. still there with his antics. He is, go. he is the main reason... He's the, he, he's the main guy for all of this. He's the guy, isn't he the same guy who traded Hardaway and traded for him back? Is that him? Yeah. Well, no, he traded him Get to him sign him, him to a worse deal. All yeah. right, man. We got, we got Sergio and Ari. Um, let's, keep, let's keep it clean. All right, all right. Let's Yo, keep it clean, say, fellas. Let's I keep it clean. Ari. Touch gloves. Oh, and let's go. I'm a fan. I listen to you a lot. I Yo, I respect your opinion. And I like what you have to say. But to say that I'm delusional, my man, you are now an official Latino. Your name is Ari Waldenado. <laughs> you wild, bro. You straight wild. Yo, we we have a talented player, and you complain. You know what I'm saying? It's like, when was the last time we had a talented player? You know, somebody yeah. that has some potential, other than Porzingis, which we totally screwed up. But still, he's a talented player. All right, well, first of all, thank you, um, Sergio. Uh, I, res I respect that. And that's my opinion. And his defense is, is pretty bad. You know, everyone knocks Iso Zoe for his lack of defense. Julius Randle is just as bad as a defender. If, Ju if Iso Zoe was getting the amount of shots that Julius Randle was getting, Iso Zoe would be putting up better numbers than Randle, in my opinion. And he's undersized, and, you know, he turns the ball over, plays no defense. He thinks he's Kyle Corver. You know, I'm nah. not a fan. <laughs> Hey, all right, all right, that's, that's it, it. that's it. That's right, it, JL. Go back to the your corner. The bell is rung. <laughs> Sergio Ari, the first battle of the fans. Who you, uh, who you want? Who won? Everybody throw your winners in the chat. Who won? Was it Sergio? 
<laughs> was it choice. Sergio or was it Ari, man? <laughs> Throw <laughs> your votes in the chat. Oh Knicks God. hate. I would love to work with the Knicks at MSG, but that, if they hate it because of that, then. It is what it is. We it did what, what we had is, to do. Man. This is for the fans, by the fans. This is for the fans, by the fans. You know I mean? we have, yeah, we have a responsibility to the fans. <laughs> That's it. <man. laughs> That's it.